All right. Hello, everybody. My name is Paul Addis. I'm a librarian at the Coos Bay Public Library, and I just wanted to welcome everybody to Community Cooking with the Co-op, um, starring our friend Jamar Ruff over at the Coos Head Food Co-op. With me tonight is my um, co-worker, Joshua Witte, and um, he wants to share a little about some vouchers we're giving out right now for free ingredients, and then we're going to pass it on over to Jamar. Yeah, welcome everybody. Good evening. Um, so uh, the Coos Head Food Co-op and the Coos Bay Public Library have joined forces to uh, present some uh, nice uh, ingredient vouchers that uh, will be available uh, to pick up at the Coos Head Food Co-op at the cashier. Um, we're going to be offering it. We offered it this month. We're going to offer it again next month in May and then again in June. Um, and uh, they are going to be like $25 food vouchers for ingredients that uh, will be used in community cooking with Jamar. Um, and it's available to everybody. So if you are interested, all you have to do is show up at the Coos Head Food Co-op. Uh, next month, it'll be May 19th until May 26th. And um, if you are interested in getting uh, a voucher, we have a little uh, caveat in like how to use it. So uh, if you're looking forward to getting another one next month, uh, it would be awesome if you could attend the uh, uh, program. So, so if you get the, the voucher for May, please attend the program, uh, cook along. If you are unable for some reason to do that, please prepare the meal, take a photo and send it to my email address and I will put it in the chat. Um, before we continue, uh, is if, if anyone has received a voucher for this month, can you please put your full name in the chat so I can uh, mark your attendance? And if for some, for some reason chat's a challenge, go ahead and just unmute, that's fine. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, and and you can also um, cook along via the recording, which we usually post to the library's YouTube channel within a day or two of um, the, the event. Cool. Looks like you're getting some names there, Joshua. And I'm going to turn yeah. it over to Jamar. I think he has a little to share before we get started. Yeah. Do I have something to share? No, I'm just kidding. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to Community Kitchen with the Co-op. My name is Jamar, and I have a special guest. Hi, Jer Jeffrey, Jeremy. <laughs> um, I have a special guest with me tonight, cooking along, which is Ann Mills. I um, Ann is. <laughs> she's gonna try not to distract me, but when we, whenever we are together and we're cooking along with each other, we're always having a good time. So, which is what you're supposed to do in the kitchen, right? I'm not having any music playing tonight, so I have a friend instead. And now she's gonna sing for you. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. So, okay, if you, if you are um, just coming in, you wanna go ahead and start preheating our ovens to 45 degrees. Not 45, 400. 400. Thank you. Sorry. Whoa. I gotta always like shake it out. <laughs> 400 degrees. Yes, yeah, so start preheating your oven at 400 degrees. The recipe that we're cooking today is the Co-op Power Breakfast Bowl. And sorry, we were not able to um, have community cooking last year. We were on a run. You know, we have been going, um, doing community cooking for over two years now. And that was the first time we had, did not have a community cooking. So thank you all for being patient and thank you all for showing up this time around. Um, so what we're cooking today is the Co-op um, Power Breakfast Bowl. It is a um, tofu scramble, but I wanted to kind of like give a, my take on a common meal. And I love home fries. I love um, O'Brien's. Is O'Brien's? O'Brien's? O'Brien. Get that. Thank you. But we're doing that instead of using like a regular potato, we're using sweet potato. So we have a yam, and then we also have a Japanese um, sweet potato. So if you haven't ever cooked with one today, it, the yam gives you, it, it's that sweet flavor. Um, and when it's roasted with some smoked paprika and some salt and pepper, it's just really good. So, and if you have cooked along with me, you know that I love roasting everything. So <laughs> what we're going to start with is we're going to start um, with the sweet potatoes because they're gonna take the longest. And while we're doing everything else, we wanna make sure that our, um, our sweet potatoes are in the oven 
being roasted. And we're gonna roast for like 45 minutes, okay? Um, so I'm gonna chop if you avocado. So we have a word so that way we can switch cameras. <laughs> and you may hear me saying avocado in the during the thing. This does not mean that add avocados right then and there. You <laughs> can <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so first we're gonna start out in and you're gonna cut one. I'm gonna let you cut. Well, I'll let you cut this one and you're gonna use this knife. So okay. when I'm cutting, um, when I'm cutting the sweet potatoes, I like to not cut them in big chunks. Um, I want to cut them even, but so okay, let me just I can show you better than I can tell you. So what I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cut down the middle. Ooh, whoa. Be careful. <laughs> no. Be careful, everyone. So what I'm gonna do is right it's like wait this this is my favorite you know we all have those favorite knives and favorite spoons in our kitchen and this is what okay cool so what i'm gonna do is um i'm gonna cut it the same way we're gonna cut and just make them even yeah you, did, you didn't peel them no i didn't peel them oh, I, I never peel my potatoes because i <laughs> I never put my sweet potatoes and my potatoes. <laughs> I always feel like that the skin gives us a little bit extra something. But when you come across like the middle of the sweet potato, where it's the big, big crescents right there, you can cut those in half. You can cut them in half. But you see, we're cutting all of them e even. But when I have like the big ones, I'm like, no, I'm gonna cut those in half. And what it's gonna be is so in this tofu scramble, you have a mix of tofu, sweet potatoes, and a lot of vegetables. And that's why we say powerful because it gets you, it, it will definitely get you started. <laughs> and all scraps that I have are going to be compost. In. Oh, you have to. Plus, any excuse to have breakfast for dinner, right? Yes, absolutely. And I think folks were asking about breakfast for dinner. Then I was like, well, what about French toast? But I recently found out that I was diabetic. And so I have changed my whole eating habit. So I'm like, no. And the cool thing about the car, about the sweet potatoes is that they're carbs. But when you pair it with a lot of vegetables, the carbs get canceled out. So what you're going to see is while you're building the bowl, and I'm cooking for maybe the staff, but if it's for another person, it's gonna, you're going to have the, um, oh, sorry, let me move the bowl one second. Okay. What I found... Sorry, what I found is that when um, when I am eating carbs today, well, I kind of stay away from them. So they're a treat. So if I'm going to have like sweet potatoes, they're going to be really good sweet potatoes, okay? <laughs> but I try to pair it with a lot of vegetables. Um, so vegetables, I can have all day. Sweet potatoes, which is a carb, I try to make sure that I limit my intake on that. So right now I have my cooking sheet and I always use parchment paper, but if you don't, um, you can kind of grease your cookie sheet. If you use aluminum foil sometimes and you're cooking on a high heat, what it'll do is um, it'll make it stick. And then it, it makes it burn a little bit easier. But what I found is cooking on a high temp. And I think I always cook on high temp. Well, yes, I do. <laughs> um, I always, by me cooking on a high temp, I, um, it allows me not to burn my potato. Because if you do, you'll have to go on with a spatula. And I think we've all had to, Spray them off. Right, spray them off. You know, cut them off. <laughs> and then, or you have the person that is like, wait, I like those. I like the burnt skin and all of that stuff. So, so what I'm doing is I'm putting it on a, on a baking sheet. And you realize I have not added any of my seasoning. And if you are not at that place, so this is a no left behind kitchen, which means we all come, we all put it on the oven at the same time. I'm gonna keep the timer, which I always suggest if you're cooking in the kitchen and you're always hot, if you have multiple things going on, it's always like rule of thumb to use the timer. And you no know, cook left behind. Everybody's yes. finishing this recipe tonight. Yes. 
No cook. What did I say? Did I say no cook left behind? No kitchen. No kitchen left behind. No kitchen left behind. Oh, tomato, tomato. Not leave your kitchen behind either. Oh, and not forty-five degrees, forty degrees. Thank you. Uh, and stop it. Okay, so <laughs> at first I'm on track, and I'm yeah. trying my best. <laughs> so the seasonings, we're gonna keep it really simple. I always rule of thumb. I always do like a sprinkle of salt and pepper, and then I always go in with the um the smoked paprika. It just gives it a, a smokier flavor because the sweet potatoes may be a little sweet. And I always mix them in because um, I don't ever just do like sweet potatoes on one side and regular sweet potatoes on the other. Okay. <laughs> I had an aisle on. Okay, so I'm gonna mix it up. And, and the recipe calls for smoked paprika. I'm gonna start out, if you wanna do like maybe a teaspoon, one teaspoon, and I'm gonna sprinkle the salt and pepper. And if you could dust that over for a little bit, right now, you wanna wait till you're done. So I'm doing just so Jeffy. <laughs> <laughs> she says Jeffy. Yes, Jeffy. <laughs> We've just created a new hashtag, everyone. It's Jeffy. Okay. Yeah. And you can sprinkle. Oh, that looks good. I love the smell yeah. of oh smoked paprika. So, um, no, I think that's good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, I'm going to sprinkle some olive oil over there. So for everyone who shopped, um, the, who, for everyone who, um, got vouchers, did the vouchers at the co-op, how was it shopping bulk? Did you, did, did you see a different, I think Sue is trying to, trying to, um, say something. I'm mute, Sue. Did you see a difference? Um, what was some of the difference that you saw when you were Wait, shopping? Wait, Sue, unmute. Oh, Sue, you're going to have to unmute. <laughs> she can't hear us. Sue, you're muted. <laughs> there you go. Wait, no. Yeah. There you go. I already did that once before. Um, yeah, the, the cost, the voucher exactly matched the cost of the food. Oh, perfect. Well, and that was one of the things, but did you see how much, did you pay attention to how much the seasonings cost? Yeah, yes. Um, I already had this, I already had smoked paprika, so I didn't buy that. Um, I bought a little extra cumin. I already had cumin, but I bought essentially what I thought we'd use. So yeah, the only thing that it didn't include was the olive oil, which I had. Oh, yeah. Stacy said you guys were out of the bulk tofu. What's that? Oh, I, I was telling Jamar, Stacy said you're out of bulk tofu. Yeah, we sold out of all the bulk tofu. So, but one of the cool things with Shop on Bulk is that you're not paying for the packaging. So like one of the things as far as the shopping with the seasoning, these may be seasonings that you may not have in your fridge or not your fridge, but your cupboard. But what I was saying was when I was telling folks bag up their seasonings and then taking it to the register, they were getting like organic turmeric and organic cumin for like 21 cents, you yeah. know? Um, and if you are out of your jar, if you um, have those jars at home, just bring them on in and reuse them, you know? Then you will only be paying for the product and you're not paying for the packaging and the label and all of those things when it comes to it. So that was the one thing. It's like you always kind of save a book when you are um, shopping in bulk. Yeah, so, I always buy in bulk. Mm -hmm. So on the um, on the sheet pan, on the cookie sheet, I have have I have salt, pepper. Ooh. Okay, the pepper got me. The salt, <laughs> pepper, and I have smoke. Ooh. Sorry, the black pepper um, and smoked paprika, and then I drizzle some olive oil over it. And then I, with my hands, I am going in and moving it around and making sure everything is getting covered and coated and things like that. And then I am going to pop it in the oven. So, oh, it's a little hot. Okay, I'm going to pop it in the oven. And if everyone lets me know that they're ready, then I will set my time for 45 minutes and we'll move on to the next. How's everybody doing? Jen, did you have a question about an ingredient? Oh, oh, she's good. Okay, cool. Hey, Jamar. Yeah? I think when you're ready, Linda has a question. Okay, Linda, ask away. 
she, oh, she, she wrote in the chat that she um she's allergic to all soy. Uh, is there a substitute to tofu that she can use? Oh, what about jackfruit? Ooh, there's one. Jackfruit is really good. Um, yeah, jackfruit would be a good substitute. If you were to use Tim Bay, Tim Bay, and I'm going to start my timer at 40 minutes. Okay, well, Stacy's ready, so that's good. So we, do we put it in now? Yes, you do. Okay. Yep. Go for it, I have, I have the timer started as well. But Linda, that was really cool. Oh, for 40 minutes. Did you say 4-0? 45, sorry. Oh, 45. So we're putting the potatoes in for 45 right now. Yeah, 45. I'm, thank you. That's why it's really helpful to have other people into the kitchen. So <laughs> to answer your question, it like jackfruit would be really cool. Um, Because if you use tempeh, tempeh soy includes soy. Um, if if you wanted to kind of change how you approach it, you can do like a quinoa, like a cold quinoa. Um, that would be great. That's why I got that for a <laughs> And does a cold quinoa, so that may be a really cool substitute. Um, or you could use eggs, scrambled eggs. Yes, you could. Oh. There you yes, go. you could. Yeah, totally. So old school. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sue. So the next part we're going to look at is the mushrooms. So um, we're going to start sweating the mushrooms. So right now we have the, the root vegetables in the oven. So we're not really thinking about those anymore until that timer goes off and your kitchen starts smelling lovely. Now we're going to move on to the mushrooms. So we're going to sweat the mushrooms and we're going to do mushrooms and a little onions as well. So, all right. The red onion? Yes, the red onion. Good question. So what we'll do is if you want to chop that one, I'm not going to chop this one until when we start making the other mixture. You want me to do it? Okay. Avocado, please. All right. So I have my onion chopper and then it goes into my veggie. <laughs> my veggie mix. I'll be making soup out of this tomorrow. And these are going in the skillet there, Jamar? Yes. Yeah. So what I do is I have my skillet ready and you should get yours. And the recipe calls for two skillets. So one is going to be one for the scramble. The other one's going to be for the sweating of the mushrooms. They're going to take the, take a little bit of time. So I always sweat my mushrooms. <laughs> it's, one of the, it's, it's one of the things that I really love to do. Um, and it forms the jacuzzi a aspect, but it's really delicious. And I love um, incorporating onions as well into this, um, into a mushroom. Mushrooms, onions, and garlic, they just go so well. Yeah. So, oh, and the bell peppers are gonna be separate. Yeah, I love bell peppers too. I also have made like a, um, like mashed up avocado, like a guacamole, um, and then stuffed bell peppers with it, like the mini bell peppers, they're yeah. really delicious. If you ever, if you haven't ever tried it, I'll make them for you sometime. I appreciate <laughs> so, that. <laughs> so I'm um, chopping my onions, and what I did was I did line down the um, down the side, and then I made it like a dice. Instead of a rough chop, I did a dice. So you can cut the onions like so, like bringing it down like this. And then I went like this, flipped it over, and I haven't cut through the onion yet. Because this is going to be the base, right? And then what I'm doing is I'm bringing it to the top, bringing it down, and even and even stretch. And then we have diced onions. Nice. Awesome. You're using a whole big onion? Yeah, I used a really big onion. The other one, the, so I'm using half and half. Um, the first one is going to go into that one, but I always... It's like when I shop at the grocery store, I always go big or go home with the onion. <laughs> that and, uh, and um, the garlic as well. So I have my pan hot. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil, just a, just a touch. Because right. what it's going to do is when you put the mushrooms into the olive oil, it's going to start sweating and then moisture is going to be moisture. It's going to be released. So I'm just gonna throw my onions over in there. 
And now, now, does anybody else think of Richard Simmons and Sweat to the oldies when he talks about <laughs> <laughs> No, Paul, that'll only be you. <laughs> And there, is that a whole half an onion that you're putting in right now? No, it's not. I didn't put a whole half. Is it a quarter? Yeah, maybe a quarter. Okay. A quarter. Yeah, go for a quarter. He Remember, he's cooking for more people. Thank you, Jamie, for asking that because I didn't, I left that out in the instructions. Yes, thank you, Jamie. And how would you put oh. a mushroom? Okay, so I'm about to start the mushroom. So you are on it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> The whole onion? So I did the quarter onion. No, no, Danny, only a quarter of the onion in the pan. Okay. <laughs> Good job. How's everybody Danny. doing? <laughs> okay. So um, I went ahead on and like prepped the mushrooms ahead, but I told Ann that she would be prepping them on camera. So <laughs> you remember how I sliced them? You saw how I sliced them too? Okay. So. I'll slice only one, but I don't want to do one. Okay. I know you don't. That's so, I'm gonna do. <laughs> so the mushrooms, what we're going to do is um, avocado. Awesome. Okay. So I am turning it on the side and I'm cutting with it. There we go. Like yeah, and you, but you know what? What I found is when it gets like that at the end, instead of holding your hands like that, because you could cut your hands, flip it on the side because it's flat and just keep going. Misty. Yeah, I do not like getting cut and I am a baby. So <laughs> me, I'm extra careful when it comes to using knives and things. Look at that. That Good just your whole that just changed your, changing my world. That just changed your whole oh, world when it comes to my drum. I'm sweating to the oldies. Change my world. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So I have my onions in my pan and I am moving those around as well. And they're getting a nice little translucent color. They smell wonderful. And that's what no seasoning. The only seasoning that I'm gonna put add towards the onions and the mushrooms is the salt and pepper. Mm. That looks yummy, right? Yes. I'm going to invent smell of vision one, one of these days. <laughs> or, smell, or smell of zoom. I, I know a couple people popped in late. Did anybody have any questions, like, as far as getting caught up? Oh, thanks for uh, asking. We have a question about what we're doing with the sweet potatoes. Should we be? Oh, uh, pre okay. your oven okay. to pre So with the sweet potatoes, do you have your oven preheated? No. Okay, so cut your, cut your oven on. It's okay. Cut your oven on. Um, you're going to preheat at 400 degrees. Okay. And once you do that, then we'll get back to the um, sweet potato. Okay, so we're going to tuck it in there at some point, though. Yeah, absolutely. So cut your oven on now. Then once you do that, and we'll talk about the um, we'll talk about the sweet potatoes, okay? Thanks. Awesome. Hey, no problem. So once I have my onions like this, I'm going to Go ahead and talk over my my mushroom in this. And I'm just gonna let them hang out for a little bit. So Jamar, how many how, how much mushroom should our cooks be putting in the pan? So, so uh, it called for six cremini mushrooms, right? So okay. but the thing you don't want to do is crowd the pan. That's great. So what you want to do is if you see how if it covers all of it. Add a little bit at a time. So like I would cover the mushroom first. And then if it feels like it's getting a little bit crowded and looking a little bit crowded, hold your horses, let that cook down a little bit and then add some more into it. Okay. Okay, so um Kathy. I want to name right now. Super sick. I want to name. Kathy, um, so have you cut your oven on yet? Okay, so now with the sweet potatoes, what you're gonna do is, and I wish I had an extra one, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut the um cut the sweet potato in cute, well, in like in half. Cut the sweet potatoes in half and make sure they're like an even slice. And then once you finish, you're gonna put it on a cookie sheet with the parchment paper. And once you do that, let me know when you're at that point. We'll talk about seasonings, okay? Okay, awesome. Jen, you asked the question? Oh, okay. I'm 
No, she was just telling us she got a voucher. Thanks, Jen. Oh, awesome. Yeah, it was really exciting to see everyone come in and use their vouchers. Awesome. So you see, Ann, um, you, you see how like they start to cook down and you see like there's some liquids that are being released. And so that's the important part of like not crowding the pan and taking your time with the recipe. There's no rush. You know, sometimes I'm only giving my food about an hour, giving myself an hour in the kitchen. So what I want to do is just kind of like take it easy, let them cook down. I got my, my um, veggies in the oven. They are cooking. And so, yeah. So now let's move on to tofu. So everyone has their tofu? Yep. Okay, awesome. So open your package of tofu. And one, you you have a um do you have a paper towel near you? Uh, Jamar Jen wanted to know if they're gonna use the rest of the red onion at some point. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. So the red the rest of the red onions are gonna go with the bell pepper. Oh, okay. Awesome. Okay. Great. Thank you for asking that question. I love yeah. questions. Ew. I do love yeah. and I, I, I embrace them. <laughs> that was really good. Now they're really sweaty now. I was uh -huh. just trying to figure out if I should put it away or leave it out. So thank you. Uh, oh you oh absolutely. Leave it out. So one thing with this with the um tofu is that you're noticing that it's in a okay, so you see how they cook sorry. Mm -hmm. You see how the mushrooms are cooking down in the pan? So now I've made some room to add the rest of my mushrooms. And then I'm going to let those hang out over there. And now we're going to, so right now on my time, I have 34 minutes, um, 34 minutes to, to finish everything, right? And Kathy, are you done with your sweet potatoes yet? Yep. Okay. So now you're going to do a sprinkle of salt and pepper, okay. sprinkle over the top. And then I did a teaspoon of smoked salt. Kathy, do you have a baking sheet with some bark? Okay. So what you're going to do is add the season. The seasonings are going to be salt, pepper, and um, smoked paprika. So you're going to sprinkle that over, drizzle some olive oil, massage it in, and then put it in the oven. And what you're going to do is it's going to bake at 400 degrees for 45 minutes, okay? Gotcha. All right. Thanks. Jeremy, do you have a question? You can ask Jeremy. You're still muted. Can you send him a request to unmute? Yeah, I did. Okay. I think he's getting help. Okay. I'm back. Did you have a question, Jeremy? How do you finish the Put the stuff in the, um, I'm cooking the mushroom and onions and potatoes in the oven. Okay, you're right on target. So the, what we're about to do now is the tofu. Uh, sounds like you're doing good. Just keep following along, buddy. Okay. And Thank I, I'm you very much. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. You're good. <laughs> I, I come on. Okay, so now with the tofu, you notice that you have this container, and if you got bulk tofu, you'll see that you pulled it out of like some fresh filtered water. So um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna squeeze the much. So I asked you if you had some paper towel because what we're gonna do is we're gonna press the tofu just to get all of the liquids out of it. Okay. Um, and and we're using firm tofu. So that's what um everyone got today. So I'm going to lay it on here for you. And so I have my tofu out of the container and I have it, I have a paper towel at the bottom and I'm going to put a paper towel at the top. And I just want you to like, don't press like you're trying to like break the tofu, but just press so that way you start seeing liquids come out of the tofu. Light pressure, would you say? Yes, light pressure, please. There we go. <laughs> Good job, Ann. Go ahead. Thank you. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I can say I, 
for press token. That looks amazing. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And this is a way, like, if you ever, like, want to, like, fry tofu, I always press it so that way it comes out a little bit crispier when there's not as much um, water and liquids inside. So you see my mushrooms? Mm -hmm. And so oh, yeah. my mushrooms, I'm going to just sprinkle over a little bit of salt and pepper, and then I'm going to let these hang out. So first you get the, first it sweats, and then once it sweats, all the water goes, all the, the moisture is released. Then it's gonna cook down and it's gonna get a little bit crispy and delicious. Hey Jamar. Yes. You have to cut the thing. Mm -hmm. Tofu. I, so if you press the tofu, do you have paper towels by you? Yep. Yep. Okay, so get two pieces of paper towel, lay it on the lay it on your um, on your on your counter, and do. Will you help me? Okay, I'll wait. All right. Yeah, you're going to put one piece of paper towel down on the table, then put the tofu on top of that, put the other paper towel on top of the tofu, and then press it lightly to, to absorb it. All right. Okay. So, hey, um, Jeremy, what you're trying to do is we're, we're pull all of the moisture out. Okay? Um, yeah, that's here. Yep. Oh, okay. Thank you. From you. Yeah, thanks for joining us, Jeremy. You're welcome. No, no. This so what we're gonna do is now that you've like pressed your tofu and released a lot of the moisture out of it, you're gonna get a bowl like so, and you're gonna crumble it. So crumble your mushroom, and you don't want to break. Like you want it to be not so like even. You want to make sure that you're thinking of like what scrambled eggs would kind of look like almost. Okay. So you want it to be chunky a little bit and small pieces and crumbly and great like awesome. So yeah, go ahead. Don't be afraid. I, I'm not afraid. Don't be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Awesome. That's like scrambled eggs for sure. Oh, wait, the magic has not even happened yet. <laughs> I'm seeing this. The magic already started. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, okay. The mushrooms look amazing. Yes. Mm. I love mushrooms. I can really eat them every day. Sauteed stuff, fried. I love mushrooms too. <laughs> awesome. Live so, oh, do um, you see like how you have this, like the rough edges? Yep, yep. Break them up a little bit more. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, so now when you have the tofu scrambled, what you're going to do is um, you're going to add a cumin. So we're going to do maybe, the recipe calls for a half a teaspoon of cumin. Half a teaspoon of cumin. <laughs> And if you don't like spice, just break it down a little bit. Though. And I'm going to so have to. Then? That's good, but you're. Then the other um, recipe, it calls for a fourth of a teaspoon of turmeric. Turmeric, all right. Do you know what the turmeric is giving? The turmeric is giving it its color. Okay. Oh. Yep. Oh, and you can use this if you like. Oh, great. So you can break a spoon and. It looks like a curry. And you don't have to be gentle. Get in there. So it's like crumbling. Oh, no, you're okay. So, crumble too much. so, I, so, so far, I've added the cumin to it. Oh, it looks so and good. I, uh -huh, I've added the, the um, oh turmeric gosh, to it. Like and it the really does look like scrambled eggs. Uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> nice. And if you need a little bit more, and it's like just start small and then add. So I'm going to add a little bit more. Yeah. What did you add there? I just added a little bit of more turmeric. Oh, okay. Trying to get that, that color. Yeah, you're trying to get the color just right. Are you going to do the tofu again? Me? What, one more time, Jeremy. You want me to do with the tofu? 
Smash it. So if you break it apart, you're gonna crumble it. Once you crumble it, what you're gonna do is start adding the um, cumin and the turmeric to it. All right. Okay. Let me show you that. Smash it. Thank you so much. No problem. And it doesn't it doesn't have to all be the same size. You're gonna bump it to look like square, right? So you can put it in the bowl right here. Smash it first. Smash it all up first. Oops, sorry. Just get right there. You can grab it, smash it up. Get in there. Yeah, you're gonna get in there. Uh, the sweet potatoes smell amazing, by the way. Oh, awesome. Okay, so now so Jen, Jen said they put the cumin and turmeric on the potatoes that are in the oven, <laughs> but it'll be fine. It is okay. <laughs> Things happen like this in the kitchen. And I will tell you, I always venture off recipes. That's why I don't do them. As long as it's scramble, it's all going to be together anyway. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what I'm thinking. Oh, but that's going to be great. So you got to do before you put it actually on the um, on the tofu scramble. Taste it and let me know how they taste. That, yeah. That's, that's going to be so Seriously. great. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. it's going to be, be so good. yummy. So yummy. Okay. So the next portion of this is get your other frying pan. And what we're going to do is we oh, yes. you got it. Is that okay? Absolutely. Go for it. Right. Nobody even said anything about me not using garlic in the recipe. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's all we have. Hey, that's great. That's great. So I did, but you were, but I was mu muted. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, isn't Jamar using garlic? No. No, I didn't. I was like, at some point, you know, with the scramble, you can go overboard a little bit. So, at end, end, you know, um, you can like put the kitchen sink in it. So I'm like, okay, just gonna keep it simple. You know, it's sweet potatoes with some bell peppers and onions and you know, all that good stuff. So, but thank you for noticing. I did it just, I was a test. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I have my other frying pan. This is where we're gonna start putting the tofu in. But before we start the tofu, we're gonna start sauteing. We're gonna saute our bell peppers the rest of our onion and we're going to put we're not going to put the um the spinach in quite yet because i like putting the spinach in once everything is is done so that way it just doesn't like evaporate into anything you know so and get gross yes yeah. <laughs> well spinach never gets gross unless it's not cooked <laughs> it gets gross but I didn't know that I like it overcooked either. Oh, yeah. Well, it's one of the things, like, I, I like adding it at the end because yep. it's already going to cook down and you still, you don't want it to turn into nothing, you know. So yeah. um, I always add it at the very end. Eat same thing like arugula, you know. Oh. Mm -hmm. With I like arugula, it's for maybe like a few minutes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And my new thing is like so nori as well. So crumbling nori up and like dropping it into my soup. Oh, nice. It's really nice. delicious. Nice. So with the bell pepper, I use the whole bell pepper. So um, avocado. So um, what I am going to do is I'm going to cut the bell pepper all the way through. And then I cut around it because I want to make sure I'm using the whole thing. You know, um, and so the only thing that should be left is the seeds. So I have this and this. They're completely separate, but I have most of my bell pepper intact. Have you, if you're food prep, have you realized how much of the vegetable we actually discard? You know, and so to reduce the food waste from our kitchens, we can go ahead and start doing it like that. And I got a red bell pepper, but I also like quick grabbed and got an um, orange one. Good job, good job. And I am putting this into my veggie scrap. Oh, I spilled salt. Okay, I gotta throw it over my shoulder. <laughs> I'm like, whoa! <laughs> Haven't did that in a while, you know. Okay, there we go. So I got my, oh, really? I just cleaned off my cutting board. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> a little seed won't hurt you. <laughs> um, well, but if you have diverticulitis, please make sure that you are removing all of your seeds, okay? Okay. 
So, um, oh, you want me to? Okay, I will. So, I, I, oh, you're gonna bring it over. So we're gonna show you how we're cutting. So Anne has a red one, I have an orange one. And what I'm gonna do is like, just go like, boom, boom. And you can use a whole um, bell pepper and you can make it a little bit thinner. You, want both? Oh, okay. you guys are making me so nervous. Your knives are so close. <laughs> That's just the Zoom camera. <laughs> You see a knife and now you don't. <laughs> but do know, I look down. I never, when I, I can talk and cook, but I'm always like focused because I told you I'm terrified of cutting my, not terrified, it's just you'll see me on the ground. I'm it's a good, good fear to have. <laughs> yeah, they'll be like, what happened? Did you not see cooking with Jamar? Cooking with the co-op? Jamar fainted. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Hi, I'm going to check on the mushrooms, okay? Please do. And remember to, to taste your mushroom as well. You should, you should not wait to the end of the recipe to taste your food. You should be tasting the whole time and seeing if it has enough. Oh, that's enough. That's enough. You kind of got a little happy. That's I did. <laughs> I'm a happy chef. <laughs> so I, got, I put a little olive oil in my um, pan, and I'm going to throw my bell peppers over. Mm. And remember, I'm cooking for a large staff of folks. So um, I'm going to always have a little bit more than everyone else. What do you got your burner at? I got it at medium. Medium, OK. <laughs> yeah. Oh. OK, so now with your onions, you're going to, you can do a rough chop, but make sure they're a little even, OK? Hello. Hi. Yeah, go ahead. And we're using, we're going to use the rest of our onions. So in our pan, we got the got the bell peppers, and I'm moving it around a little bit. They look so good. So the rest of that red onion's going in this pan. Okay. All right. the rest of the red onions are going to go in this pan. Awesome. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. So one of the things when they are like that, I did a rough, I said rough chop, but you can go like this. Have some fun with it. <laughs> <laughs> Question, were we supposed to put the on, the other chopped onions in with the mushrooms or? You, you put a quarter of the onion in the mushrooms. Oh, that's where we go. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. And all the rest is going in this pan. Jen, this is your recipe. <laughs> this is your recipe. That is now. <laughs> yes, it, it's all good, I'm on board now, okay. Hey, you're doing great. Oh no! I'm okay. Oh, but look at the color though. It looks amazing. So I'm gonna pull out my favorite, my favorite spoon. <laughs> okay. So we got that over there. We got the tofu. We haven't added the tofu yet. What we want to do is start cooking down our um our bell peppers and the onions. But they smell delicious, and I love bell peppers. I eat them raw. I mean. I love them in wraps. I love them in eggs. I love them with guacamole stuff in them. And if you haven't ever tried it, I'm pitching it because you really should try it. Guacamole stuff, peppers, interesting. Yeah, they're really great. If you're looking for like a quick like lunch, it's been a lunch. It has been a lunch. Huh? Oh, it is. Onions in now? Yes, absolutely. Yep. Okay. Throw them in with the peppers. Question for Anthony. So your, your peppers are, your bell peppers have onions. We haven't added any seasoning. We're going to do a sprinkle of salt and pepper um, in there. And you realize I'm like we're not like measuring out the salt because when you're cooking for your guests, one, you're going to be sampling your food and tasting your food. But nine times out of 10, when you have guests over, they're going to already want to salt their own food. But what you taste in it, you're not waiting to the end of the recipe and saying, whoa, that's really salty. But if it says like, oh, like now you do like a tablespoon of salt, I always go in with the sprinkle because I don't really trust it. Uh, you know, everyone's taste buds are different, right? So. And some people might not be able to handle all the salt. Right, right. Kathy added also good with cream cheese. I'm assuming she's talking about the peppers. Oh, yes. 
Thank you, Kathy. I'm glad we're right here. We're sitting. <laughs> <laughs> so my bell peppers are doing this thing, and it does, right? So I want you to, because I've been sprinkling it. And well, and since this is your first time doing it, we have we try to eat with our eyes, right? Mm -hmm. We try to make sure that when we're building our plates, when we're using colorful, oh, I just well, I don't have to. I don't have to throw pepper over my shoulder, but Jamar, I think Jamar, I hate to interrupt you, but real quick, because I know Kathy's trying to catch up. She asked, uh, was there any seasoning that went in mushroom and onion oil mix? Yes, salt, pepper. Salt. The salt, pepper. And what you're doing is you're going to sweat them. So you'll have like a, a frying pan, but then put a little olive oil in the bottom, like a, a drizzle. Um, onions first, build your base, and then go in with the mushroom. And if you feel like the mushrooms are going to be too crowded, go in with a little bit and then add later, okay? All right. Well, keep doing that. And can you sprinkle some salt and pepper over there? Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. And, and feel free to unmute, Kathy, if anything comes up. Cool. I'm going to turn off Oh, my gosh, it smells so good. I bet. I bet those sweet potatoes are starting to smell pretty good. Oh, sweet potatoes are smelling. How does everyone's kitchen smell? <laughs> good. Okay. Okay. I'm loving it. Lots of it thumbs up. It's heavenly. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, and you, I mean, it looks really great. You see the salt, pepper. Yeah. We're keeping the seasoning pretty simple. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little, well, can you, um, can you do that for me? Okay. Alan? Sorry, I was avocadoing. Oh, no, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so I'm making a little well in the middle of my pan. And what, can you hand me the tofu? Thank you, Ann. So I'm going to, now that my bell peppers are kind of cooked down, I like crunch. I don't like everything to feel like it's cooked all the way through. So now I'm going to add my tofu. And you'll realize that because we pressed it, there's not a lot of liquid, you know. Right. <laughs> So now what I'm going to do is just move it in and incorporate it throughout the um, throughout the veggies. You have onions, the bell pepper. And as you see, if you move it around, it's continues to crumble. Oh, oh yes. Uh, Mark came in late, uh, Jamar, and asked, uh, do you put sweet potato and yam whole or chopped in oven to bake? You're going to chop it in the oven. You're going to chop it up and put it in the oven. And how we did ours was that we, um, how we did ours was that, I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm going to Mark, we, we put it on a baking sheet with a parchment paper lining the um, baking sheet. And then they were, they were like sliced into like, kind of like uh, thin quarters, the sweet potatoes. <laughs> Oh, awesome. Well, that looks really great. Thank you so much. So, Jamar, I was telling Mark to put them on the parchment paper on a baking sheet, kind of slice them semi-thin in quarters, right? Yeah, so what you're going to do is slice them, and then on the cooking sheet, once you have it, have them, um, you're going to mix them up because you are cooking with Japanese sweet potatoes and yam and garlic yam. What you're going to do is once you slice them up, and even press in even places all oh, the pepper smells really good but i'm like i i still some pepper sorry so what <laughs> there's a lot of moving pieces right now okay <laughs> so um once you, once you, yes once you chop them up you're going to put them on the parchment paper and then you're going to add once you get to that place then can we check in so once you add them to the parchment paper, let's then let me know when you've done that, just so that we're not dumping a pile of information and steps are being missed. Oh, and Mark, if we didn't say before, make sure your oven's preheating at 400. Okay. Does it look, does it look really it good? Looks yeah. Look at all the color. Oh. <laughs> This is how you eat with your eyes. Yes, it is. It is. It is. So now that we have that, so like the the sweet potatoes, they have like 11 minutes and 56 seconds. The mushrooms are cooking down. 
the crumble is really it's it's crumbling and it's really good. It looks amazing. I'm gonna start adding the um adding the spinach in now. Mark, uh, Mark's got his potatoes ready on the pan. Does he just sprinkle something on there? Yes. So what he's gonna do is you're gonna sprinkle salt and pepper, and then we did a teaspoon of smoked paprika. And then once you've added the seasonings, you're gonna go in and drizzle a little olive oil over the top, and then massage it in, and then we're gonna put it in the oven at 400 and 400 degrees. Was it 45 minutes, Jamar? Uh, yes, yeah, 400 degrees um, and 45 minutes. 45 minutes, Mark. And then, Mark, once you do that, let me know, and we can talk about the mushrooms and the onions and things like that, okay? Yeah. Feel free to put in chat or on mute, Mark. All right. The pepper, you see the pepper is really... Oh, I need to spill it. I need to it. move it. I know. <laughs> so I, and I spill pepper, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, I, my, my allergies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Now that we have, we're gonna add the spinach. So do you wanna add, and I always get over because it's baby spinach. Um, and so we asked for one cup of, of spinach. We have it in bulk. How many people utilize the bulk spinach? Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, I love bulk. It's amazing. <laughs> so the bulk spinach I love, and what I've found is that I can take as much as I want and only pay for the spinach. That's it. Not the packaging, not what it's in, just the spinach. And it's really great. And one thing about our um, our salad mixes is that it's rotates depending on the season. So we'll have like arugula and our produce is, in, is a seasonal produce department. So you won't have strawberries in December. That's just not what, 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 what you'll see. But I love, especially when like in, in the summer, our spring mixes, and I think we have a spring mix now. I've been really itching to like, you know, tear into it. So it's really exciting. So now um, what you would do is add a, a handful at a time and then um, we'll mix it in. Okay, awesome. All right. And what I'm doing is I'm folding it in. Oh, I just, I just do some extra. Okay. Keep it moving. <laughs> Ready? Oh, yeah. You know what you'll start seeing is that it'll wilt down. And so I haven't fully all the way, all the way, so I cooked my bell peppers. They're not mushy or anything. They, they're, they're tender, which is amazing. Which, not amazing, but the green, makes it so the green makes it really pretty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, and imagine cooking this for like a family member or something like that. When they come to the table, they're thinking they're eating eggs and it's really tofu and they're like, wait, whoa. Oh, I'm still doing that with my kids. Yes. <laughs> See what Ryder and Olivia say. I will. <laughs> they'll be like, Mom, this is an egg. Like, I think that's good. Yeah. Yeah, they will. Yeah. They'll know it. Yeah. <laughs> we had burger night, um, and I made really good burgers. But then Olivia trumped me because she made, like, I went over and had dinner at their house, and um, she made grilled cheese and tomato soup. That was it. And the grilled cheeses are were legendary. Wow. Way. It's her signature dish. <laughs> and we're so and I haven't had a grilled cheese in a really long time. So it's like when you when you eat one, and then I was dipping it in my soup and I was just like, oh, this is awesome. So we have seven more minutes on the on the um oh, Anybody have any questions? Oh my gosh. Uh -huh. It's pretty good. All right. Okay. How has everyone tasted their um their scramble yet? To see if it needs some salt or anything like that. It looks amazing. Let's see. Sue's going for it. I'm gonna do avocado, but you wanna? Yeah, salt. Ready? No, forget. Forget avocado. Go ahead. Um, we haven't added the nutritional yeast yet, right? Oh, you know what? I've been partying. Thank you. Thank you. So now we can add the nutritional yeast. Thank you for keeping me on track. Whoa. I've never done that. That does look good. Awesome. I know this. We're doing good, too. How many have ever put your nutritional yeast? 
Okay, okay. I saw some hands. My father had as well. Um, so we're doing um one and a half tablespoons of nutritional yeast. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna give a cheese effect without using cheese. Okay. Oh, okay. And if you haven't Paul, have you ever had nutritional yeast before? Oh, and if you like popcorn, it's oh really yeah, yeah, I've had popcorn, yeah, that's good. Yeah, so I'm gonna add that in and it's okay, we'll incorporate it. I did a tablespoon and a half. Tablespoon and a half. And then, um, Anne, can you go ahead and start stirring this in, incorporating the nutritional yeast? Thank you so much for keeping me on track. I was, the conversation was amazing. <laughs> yes, <laughs> well, thank you so much. The kitchen, right? You know? I'm cooking and I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot that. I can tell you so many times where it's like I'm baking and I forgot a key, key ingredient. And then, you know, with that, it's like the bread doesn't rise. <laughs> hey, Jamar, uh, Mark is asking, is the frying pan saute on medium or low? It's, gonna be on, it's on medium. It's on medium. So, Mark, are you at the, are you with the mushrooms and the onions? Is that so delicious? Yes. He no. said yes. Huh? Yes. yes. Okay, so with the mushrooms and the onions, you're gonna do olive oil in your little in your skillet. Well, in your skillet, and then you're gonna slice up the onions first, add the onions at the base, and you're gonna do half of your onions. So maybe a quarter um, of your onion you're gonna use for this portion. Dice it up, cut it real small, add it to the skillet, and once that sauteed and becomes translucent. What you're gonna do is start adding the um, mushrooms over in there as well, okay? And you, and you can chop the whole onion, Mark, because you're gonna use the the rest of the three quarters of it in the other pan later. Oh my gosh! And I have not combined my my um, onions yet because how I'm gonna build the poles, build not the pole. Wow! How I'm gonna build the bowl is the mushrooms are gonna go on the side. You're gonna have the sweet potatoes on the side, and the one side is gonna have the um the oh my gosh the scramble. Nice. So Jamar, I'm wondering about um this is a lot of food actually, and I'm wondering if we're able like I'm thinking we could portion it out into muffin tins and and do um, individual portions to freeze. Do you think that would work? Oh, well? I think so. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna give it. And we'll let you know, but I okay. that's our plan. Um, yes, and if you have like quick, like muffin breakfast kind of thing that like, you yeah, can yes, and you can make it into um breakfast burritos tonight, tomorrow morning because right now or breakfast tacos. Right. Wow. Yes. That's I, it. Breakfast tacos. Well, you know, yeah. we, we love tacos. Thank you. Um, thank you. Yeah, you'll have to let us know how it thaws, Jen. <laughs> All right, you can touch the um. All right. So, okay. Now I'm gonna remove that off of the heat. I'm gonna clean up my spot, clean the cutting board up. Okay, we're we're running over time, but we're already at the finish finish point where we're about to start building. We have awesome. two minutes on our sweet potatoes. Yes. Ooh, All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm gonna <laughs> this to the side. Um, and the recipe calls for cilantro, and those are going to be toppers along with the avocado as well. Um, has anyone cut an avocado? Are you familiar with how to cut an avocado? So, I would say yes, but I know you're going to do something totally different. So. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Can you get a spoon for me? If you have a spoon handy, that would be great. All right. And so right now I'm just prepping stuff. So I did that. <laughs> oh, you already did that. Awesome. Good so job. I'm gonna like I'm gonna cut my avocado and I'm gonna make a circle go in a circle motion all around. It's okay. I used to make the the guacamole here at the co-op and I could tell 
when an avocado um, was ripe and when it, when it was ready for make guacamole with, I was the avocado with it. So now that it's like that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist. So I have my avocado and then to pull it out, I'm gonna use a spoon. And I'm gonna go around the edges, the perimeter. Oh. You ever just squeeze it out? No. Well, I mean, not if I'm trying to make it look pretty. That's true. <laughs> peel it. You there. can peel it. Huh? Got me there. <laughs> so now you have an avocado. And if you make smoothies in the morning, you can also throw avocados in your smoothie. It's really delicious. Totally. Yes. So Right now we have our mushrooms to the side. They're, they're good. We've cut that off. We've cut our scramble off, off as well. Um, we have the sweet potatoes that are about to come out of our oven and we are about to start plating. How does everything sound about that? Well, before we do the, the plating portion, I have some cilantro. Oh. oh yeah, cilantro. And sometimes when we get cilantro from the store, what I like to do is I like to get a glass a, and put it in the fridge and it keeps it very like, you know, keeps it, oh, there we go, there we go. Thank you, Sue. And I just keep the water changed, you know, changing the water. The water goes into the plant and then, you know, things like that. You don't have to pour it down the drain. That's what I'm saying. So the cilantro is gonna be the garnish. And what we're gonna do is, I love cilantro. Do you like cilantro? I love cilantro. I love the smell, and I'm just doing a rough chop, rough chop because I'm going to sprinkle it on top. Nice. Yeah. Okay. You so. The yes, I use the stem. You should not discard stem. Okay. Thank you for. Okay. So my timer just went off, so you can pull your um two potatoes out of the oven. Thank you, Ann. If if you guys were using Jamar's uh, timer for your sweet potatoes, it's time to pull them out. Ah. Uh. Oh, I will show you how to do that. So you just timer off. There we go. All right. And so with the avocado, because it's right here, I'm gonna slice it. So um, you wanna break it on me? Oh, hey, no problem. But it's only because you heard avocado. Yeah. <laughs> so I have my avocado like this, and I'm just gonna cut it in, in small slices. Because just like the um, just like the cilantro, we are doing thinking of garnishes. Oh, look at that! Look at that! <laughs> well, if you eat your garnishes, you know they make the plate look beautiful, but you want to eat your garnishes. So you're gonna cut the other one for you? Yeah, <laughs> of course. Jamie said she loves the avocado for the avocado. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, we're coming up with hashtags. We'll probably put it on a t-shirt too. Coming to coming to a co-op near you. <laughs> Did you just say avocado? Wait, which camera do I use? <laughs> so okay, so now um, I'm gonna I'm gonna move my face so you can see how I construct everything. So I'm gonna move these over. Thank you, Ann. Yes, awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you. Ann. Because the goal is, if you clean while you cook, by the time you're ready to plate everything up, you can just eat. And that's you can awesome. kick it afterwards. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna lay a towel down. So that way I can put my sweet potatoes. Yes, bring your sweet potatoes over and I'm gonna bring the mushrooms over. Oh, yeah. Do you wanna try one? Yeah. Wanna take okay, try one in. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Oh man, that's exciting. I always steam my sweet potatoes, so I'm excited to try this. Oh, don't you wish you were here right now? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm moving them around. Oh, really good. yeah, right. And they look really delicious as well. Yam, oh, try the yam. <laughs> <laughs> try them. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. 
Is that really good? Okay. Well, did you more? Is it okay I use eggs for my um, food? He said absolutely. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Well, the cool thing about this is I just supply a of red star. The more and more adventurous you get, you can you feel. Hopefully, these recipes are allowing you to explore different avenues and get a little bit more comfortable in the kitchen. That is the goal. Okay. So now we're gonna make, gonna build. So we have our sweet potatoes. We have our mushrooms. Mm. We have our uh, our scramble. We have avocado and we have cilantro. We're actually doing good. So Y'all will be eating very soon. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead. Oh, I just said exciting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I'm gonna start, and what I'm gonna do is in my bowl, I'm gonna <laughs> turn it to the side. Like I'm gonna plate it like this because I want things to be, um, you know, kind of move. Ooh. Move it over a little bit. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna, and I want to, I want to load it up, and then. The other side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the sweet potatoes in. Hey, Jamar. Yes? What do you want me to do with these? Avocados. Avocados. So you're going to you're gonna peel the avocado, and they're going to go on top of your um, on top of your dish. Ah, uh, OK. OK. So now you're going to put some potatoes in here. Mm -hmm. You got one half scramble, one half potatoes. One half potatoes. And you can you can totally change it up. If you were like, you know what? I want to do less potatoes and more mushrooms. This is yours. And then I'm going to put the mushrooms on the side. Oh, yeah. On the scramble side? Susan's got it plated. See that? Susan's got it plated. Oh. Nice. Okay, so let me put a little because it needs a little bit more egg. Nice work, Susan. Send us a picture. Nice. And then I'm going to put my avocado in here. And I always do things in threes. I plan in threes. I do stuff in threes. So it's good to have three avocados. And then I have my cilantro right here. Nice. And so, yeah. And, and please email me your uh, plating picks, everybody. You all have my email and your Zoom. Get it together, Alex. <laughs> nice. Nice. Work. Very good. Oh. I see everyone smiling. I'm excited. Okay, Jen, how does your, how does your um, potato taste? All right, Joelle said we're ready to eat garnished with cilantro from Jamar Seeds. Thank you. Awesome. Yes! <laughs> Enjoy, Joelle. I'm glad they came up this year. <laughs> well, let Joelle and Joshua decide because we're going to drop some leftovers over to them tomorrow at the library. So. Yes, okay, Aww. that's going to be awesome. <laughs> Thank the you part of it, yeah, the mixing the spices with the potatoes seems to have worked really well. Okay, okay, now now I gotta do this. So let me taste the soup. I love sweet potatoes. Mm. You don't need much when it comes to a sweet potato. Oh, those are great. Can y'all make sure y'all take photos? Oh my goodness. That's beautiful. Oh, nice, Danny. Oh. Wow. Oh, that was awesome. Awesome. Please, please, please email me pictures of these plates. It yes. smells delicious. Oh. <laughs> it's going to taste more delicious. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. Awesome. Good job, Francis and Danny. Good to see y'all. Hey, um, oh, look at that beard. Holy crap. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thanks, Thanks for everybody else in the room. Good ducks. Lots of thank yous. Thank, thank you. you. Hey, thank you so much. Bye, Jerry. Bye, everyone. Bye. Does it? Does
Thanks. Looks delish. Yes. Bye, everybody. This looks great. I'm going to try it myself over the weekend. Awesome. <laughs> I'm trying it right now. Which <laughs> <laughs> of us is famous singers? Gus Evans or Michael Jackson? Are you calling me Michael Jackson again? <laughs> I love Elvis and Michael Jackson a lot. Make sure you say goodbye. You guys have a great day. All right. What's your favorite Elvis song? Um, how great they are. Nice. All right. Who's your favorite singer? Um, early Elvis, like early. I'd say my favorite singer is probably Matt Coco. Oh. You have to look him up. Old Jamaican singer. Awesome. All right. Have a good day. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. And I got a question for you, Jamar. Yes. Yeah. When is the end of cooking class live? Oh, it's going to be the fourth, the fourth Thursday. Fourth Thursday. Oh, yes. awesome. What? Then, then you can go to that. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. We'll see you then. Okay. God bless. All right. Take care. Mark, Mark, do you need any more help? I was just going to ask to say, Mark, how's it going? Lots of thanks and great funds in the chat. Mark, how you doing? He says, I think I'm okay. Do you want to unmute and see if we can help you finish? Well, I think Mark's okay. Patricia, are you cooking along? No response there. Okay. Oh, wait. Mark said, I didn't see how you get avocado out after cutting in half. Yeah, just he scooped it out with a spoon. Exactly. Mark, were you able to do it? I think he's doing pretty good. Great as always, he said. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate that. And and way to catch up with everybody there at the last. Bye. Day. Mark, remember to check on your um check on your sweet potato. That's in the oven. Yep. M Mark, uh, is there is there anything we can answer um before we all sign off? He said, we'll do about checking the sweet potatoes. Yeah. Mark, do you have any last minute questions? Oh, great. Thanks. Patricia said she loved this. Thanks, Patricia. Yeah, I'm going to take the big one. The front here. And then here is Let me just see if I can. I'm not going to lie. I didn't even take a photo of it. You will. You will. Somebody will. Oh, my God. This is so good. One of maybe put um, right. uh, the smoke capsule. Oh, okay. Mark, Mark said he's, he's okay. He said it smells great. Excellent. Well, if, if anybody, if nobody has any last minute questions, I think we're going to sign off. And I'm assuming you saw how we finished, right, Mark? You should do this. Hold on. This is good. Wait, I'll give this to y'all. It's pretty. Okay, great. All right. Great job. Thanks so much.